<gasps> no! No! Why did you hang up on me? It's constantly engaged. Basically, I'm having a really hard time trying to book something called a fit to fly. They're making this a little package deal. It says you have to call first. When I did get through originally, she's like, oh no, you have to come in to make that appointment. I'm like, and it's gonna take half an hour. What? And not even next week or the week after. And they're like, oh, what flight have you booked? I'm like, well, if I had booked, then that wouldn't work because you don't have any availability. <laughs> when you can't even connect to the automated message for the two minutes to run through all the options <laughs> and you learn their number off by heart. <laughs> I just, you have my sympathy. It's really disheartening because you're just like, I've got my visa. I want to leave and I can't. <laughs> because New Zealand can't get itself together. My advice is ring on a Sunday because you'll get Heather and she's very, very nice. She's like, I shouldn't book an appointment because you have to come in. <laughs> it's so strange. This is so backwards. You have to book an appointment to book an appointment. I wish I was kidding. To take my passport and this fit to fly information sheet, which I've got from their website, I'll put it in the description box below for anybody that is basically in Christchurch, I suppose. This very moment, I haven't booked the flight ticket. Sorry, I'm literally trying to press print. She told me it's $325, that's for it being on a Saturday. Both the COVID test and the blood test that you need for China. At this very moment, the only flights that I'm really interested in taking are with Air New Zealand. They only go once a week on Mondays to Shanghai. So I'm going to put that in the time and date boarding. Even though I haven't booked my ticket. But I'm... Because I want to get this appointment first. And then do it. They seem to think it's the other way around. But clearly that doesn't work because... <laughs> They don't have availability. It's just on Church Corner. So they just got a copy of my passport. Just checking the flight details. $325. They did get the receipt. Hold on to your receipts. Okay, and then this is down. I'm on Break Street here. So it's just around the corner, really. They did ask for my number plate. And I guess it's just a drive through center. So that's great. A couple of blocks from the Chinese Embassy. Hi, travelers. I'm Anne's daughter, Lalika. It's like a whole marketing thing. To fly, as opposed to you need a COVID test to go traveling. The PCR swab is two hundred dollars here, and then the IgM antibody blood test is three hundred and ten. They sent me a text message yesterday saying drink a lot of water. Oh, I brought my water bottle with me, but I haven't really drunk much on the way here. The lights were too good. <laughs> I'm just taking my passport. It does say please wait outside or in your car, a staff member will call you. They didn't call, they literally just came up to the window. Hello. Hello. Yes. I just have this one in the database. Oh, yeah.
I guess so it was just a simple blood test. I don't know why other places can't do it. Saturday morning, she claimed that I would probably get it on Sunday night or latest early Monday morning. So, and then I just have to upload it to the Chinese health deck website thing. I'll link it in the description box below. Right, on with the day, continuing to pack for isolation. Um, <laughs> If you haven't seen my Z visa video for China, please check that out. And obviously I will have flights in isolation forthcoming, so do consider subscribing.